Hi, my name is Lorraine Murray and I am the founder and CEO of Connected Kids. And I'm going to share with you um, a little bit of advice in terms of your children if you're trying to encourage them to practice meditation by themselves. And it was a question that came up by someone who's been on our Connected Kids programme who's trained to be a professional uh, meditation tutor for kids and it was actually working with her own daughter that she found that even though she'd been teaching um, her many different meditations many times it was like her daughter wasn't able to do it by herself and she wondered why if there was anything she could do to encourage her daughter to, to practice by herself. The way that we train people to teach children meditation is that there's no scripts and there's no set um, idea for every, to be repeated over and over uh, with every child that someone teaches. That really what we do is we come from a very authentic heart-centered space and we connect to children. So we develop mindful activities or guided meditations based on maybe their interests, but also their energy, who they uniquely are. So that when we're delivering those words in a mindful way with them, we're really being present with them. We're really offering them something that, that supports who they are in that moment, that connection that's made um, with a young person, they prefer to be guided. They prefer to be with someone who, who they feel is very present. And in this case, it was a mother and daughter. And we all understand the, the challenges we have in parenthood of, of being really present with our kids because there seems to be so many demands on our time and our energy for everything. And energetically speaking, that young person feels that, they really sense it, they really, whether they can articulate that or not is, is not the point, they really, really feel it. So when we're teaching meditation, we're doing it in a very present, heart-centered way, there's a wonderful connection goes on between you and that young person. So that's one thing. The second thing is that, you know, asking a young person to just take themselves off on a guided meditation if they don't have access to something that's recorded. So as an adult, even learning to be able to practice on your own without being guided by someone else can take, you know, quite a lot of practice. Um, sometimes as a beginner to meditation, adult or otherwise, it's really easier if someone is giving you the words and you're just responding to it and, you know, following the instruction, the guidance of this, of this meditation that you're on. Because the breath is the first part of our nervous system that really, um, well it's a respiratory system, but it connects to the nervous system and it really changes dramatically when we're stressed or anxious. And that feeling of stress or anxiety doesn't necessarily mean that the threat that we perceive is real, it can often be imagined in our head or it can be something we've interpreted in a certain way. It doesn't mean to say that it's true but that's how the young person has interpreted it. So the breath changes and when the breath changes, either holding the breath or really breathing fast or not breathing with any kind of relaxation and depth, then it really does activate the nervous system as well to respond with that fight, flight or freeze. And that's how anxiety, you know, starts to build up. So by helping a young person to realise, to, to check in with the breath and to check in with their body and to do that just when they're going about their day to day life, you know, when they're writing in their book or when they're reading a book or brushing their teeth or brushing their hair or waiting for dinner, or eating their food, you know, all these different things, all these activities which we usually do quite mindlessly offer themselves up for some mindful practice. Um, paying attention to touch, taste, smell, sight, sound, any one of these senses during that activity is a little microcosm, a little mini pocket of meditation practice that your young person is doing. And what that will do each time they do that is it will help just to either reset their nervous system so they're in that more relaxed state or it will take them out of a, a potentially highly agitated state. And there's a multitude of ways that you can help children notice the breath as well. You know, 
If you look in my book, Calm Kids, um, I've got lots of information there about how to notice the breath or just look through this YouTube channel because I've got lots of tips and ideas here as well or come onto our Calm Kids group on uh, Facebook. I suppose one last thing I would say is that if you really want them to listen to a guided meditation but you don't want to give them private access to a phone or internet, then let them listen to it with you. So in other words, don't be busy doing other things. Just put on a really lovely kids um, guided meditation, 10-15 minutes long, and just sit with them and just let them practice it with you and you're practicing too. And I've got a couple on Insight Timer if you want to have a look at the free app where I've got a couple of um, meditations for kids. I'm doing a live one next week actually for kids. So, you know, just try these out and, and join in with them because even though as adults we might think, oh, can't listen to kids meditation. I'm too mature for that. I love listening to kids meditations because often they're much more interesting and more fun and creative than the adult ones uh, which can be a little bit austere or a little bit safe sometimes. So I quite like the joy that comes through in a kids meditation. So a few ideas for you to think about. If this is you know, brought up anything for you or triggered a thought or there's a question you want to ask, please, please, please um, maybe put a comment here or drop us an email through our website connected-kids.com or you can um, come onto the Facebook group and do that too. But I hope this has been helpful and have a wonderful day. Thank you ever so much for even thinking about or trying to teach your kids meditation. Namaste.